Do you notice something wrong in the world today? Can you feel it? Are you ready for it? More importantly, do you know Christ? Sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet you in the mighty and precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today we gather to reflect on one of the most foundational aspects of our faith, the Ten Commandments. These commandments given by God to Moses on Mount Sinai serve as a moral compass for our lives. They guide us in living in a way that is pleasing to God and beneficial to our relationships with others. As we delve into each commandment, let us understand how obedience to these divine laws keeps us close to God and strengthens our walk with Him. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your wisdom and guidance. Open our hearts to the truths of your word, and help us to understand the importance of obeying your commandments. May your Holy Spirit move within us, illuminating our minds and strengthening our spirits. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Ten Commandments are found in Exodus 20, 1, 17 and Deuteronomy 5, 4, 21. They are God's enduring standards for righteous living, reflecting His holy character and will for humanity. These commandments are divided into two sections. The first four focus on our relationship with God, and the last six focus on our relationship with others. Let us explore each commandment and understand how obedience to it keeps us close to God. This first commandment establishes the foundation of our relationship with God. It calls us to recognize and worship God alone as the one true God. By obeying this commandment, we acknowledge God's sovereignty and supremacy in our lives. It keeps us from idolatry, which can take many forms, such as the pursuit of wealth, power, or pleasure above God. In Matthew 6.33, Jesus teaches, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. When we prioritize God above all else, we draw closer to Him and experience His guidance and provision. The second commandment prohibits the creation and worship of idols or images. It underscores the importance of worshiping God in spirit and truth, as Jesus explained to the Samaritan woman at the well in John 4.24, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Obeying this commandment helps us maintain a pure and undistracted devotion to God. It reminds us that no physical object or image can capture the essence of God's glory and majesty. By avoiding idolatry, we preserve the sanctity of our relationship with God and honor his uniqueness. This commandment instructs us to treat God's name with reverence and respect. Taking God's name in vain includes using it carelessly, disrespectfully, or hypocritically. It is a call to honor God's holiness in our speech and conduct. In Matthew 12, 36, 37, Jesus warns, But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. 
By honoring God's name, we demonstrate our reverence for him and our commitment to living righteously. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 to 11. The fourth commandment calls us to observe the Sabbath day as a day of rest and worship. It is a reminder of God's creation and his rest on the seventh day. The Sabbath is a gift from God, providing us with the opportunity to rest, reflect, and renew our relationship with him on Saturday. In Mark 2.27, Jesus says, The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. By keeping the Sabbath holy, we acknowledge God's Lordship over our time and prioritize our spiritual well-being. It draws us closer to God by allowing us to focus on His presence and grace. Honor thy father and thy mother. Exodus 20.12 this commandment emphasizes the importance of honoring and respecting our parents. It is the commandment with a promise, as stated in Ephesians 6, 2, 3. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Obeying this commandment fosters healthy family relationships and reflects our respect for God's ordained authority structures. By honoring our parents, we learn to honor God, who is our ultimate Father. It helps us develop humility, gratitude, and obedience, drawing us closer to God's heart. Thou shalt not kill. Exodus 20.13 The Sixth Commandment prohibits murder and upholds the sanctity of human life. It reminds us that life is a precious gift from God and that we are to respect and protect it. Jesus expanded on this commandment in Matthew 5, 21, 22, teaching that even harboring anger or hatred toward others violates the spirit of this law. By valuing and preserving life, we align ourselves with God's love and compassion. Obeying this commandment fosters a culture of peace, reconciliation, and respect for the dignity of every. It draws us closer to God by reflecting his love and justice in our interactions with others. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Exodus 20, 14. This commandment calls us to maintain the sanctity of marriage and sexual purity. Adultery undermines trust, destroys families and dishonors God who designed marriage as a sacred covenant. Jesus expanded on this commandment in Matthew 5, 27, 28, that even lustful thoughts are equivalent to adultery. By maintaining sexual purity and faithfulness, we honor God's design for relationships and reflect His holiness. Obeying this commandment protects the integrity of our marriages and promotes healthy, loving relationships. It draws us closer to God by aligning our actions with His standards of purity and faithfulness. Thou shalt not steal. Exodus 20:15. The Eighth Commandment prohibits theft and calls us to respect the property and rights of others. Stealing undermines trust, breeds injustice, and reflects a lack of contentment with God's provision. In Ephesians 4.28, Paul encourages us, Let him that stole steal no more, but rather labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. By being honest and trustworthy, we reflect God's righteousness and justice. Obeying this promotes a culture of integrity, generosity, and respect for others' possessions. It draws us closer to God by fostering a spirit of contentment and trust in His provision. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Exodus 20:16. This commandment calls us to uphold truth and integrity in our words and actions. Bearing false witness includes lying, gossiping, and slandering others. In Proverbs 12.22, we read, Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are His delight. By speaking the truth and maintaining honesty, reflect God's character and build trust in our relationships. Obeying this commandment fosters a culture of truthfulness, transparency, 
and justice. It draws us closer to God by aligning our speech and conduct with the standards of truth and righteousness. Thou shalt not covet, Exodus 20, 17. The Tenth Commandment addresses the issue of covetousness, which is an intense desire for something that belongs to someone else. Covetousness, discontentment, and a lack of trust in God's provision. In Luke 12, 15, Jesus warns, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. By cultivating contentment and gratitude, we align ourselves with God's will and trust in His provision. Obeying this commandment promotes a spirit of thankfulness, generosity, and satisfaction with what God has given us. It draws us closer to God by fostering a heart of contentment and trust His goodness. As we reflect on the Ten Commandments, let us consider how obedience to these divine laws keeps us close to God. Each commandment serves as a guide for righteous living, reflecting God's holy character and will for our lives. By obeying these commandments, we demonstrate our love and devotion to God, align our lives with His standards, and foster healthy, loving relationships with others. Moreover, obedience to the Ten Commandments brings about blessings and spiritual growth. In Deuteronomy 28, 21, 2, God promises, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high, above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, when we obey God's commandments, we position ourselves to receive His blessings and favor. Obedience to the Ten Commandments also strengthens our relationship with God. In John 14:15, Jesus says, If ye love me, keep my commandments. Our love for God is demonstrated through our obedience to His commandments. As we walk in obedience, we draw closer to God experience His presence, and grow in our understanding of His will and purposes. Obedience fosters intimacy with God as we align our hearts and lives with His. Furthermore, obedience to the Ten sets us apart as God's people. In Exodus 19, 5-6, God declares, Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. For all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. By living according to God's commandments, we reflect His holiness and righteousness to the world. Our obedience serves as a testimony to God's transforming power and draws others to Him. As we conclude, let us be reminded of the profound importance of the Ten Commandments in our lives. These divine laws serve as a moral compass, guiding us in righteous living and fostering a close relationship with God. Let us embrace the power of obedience and commit to living according to God's standards. Let us close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the truths you have revealed to us today. Help us to obey your commandments and to live lives that honor you. Strengthen our faith and empower us to walk in righteousness so that we may draw closer to you and reflect your holiness to the world. May your Holy Spirit guide us and transform us that we may be faithful to your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for journeying with us on this enlightening exploration of the Ten Commandments. We trust that this deep dive into the heart of faith and obedience has inspired and empowered you. As we wrap up, we're thrilled to announce a brand new series, Bible Adventures for Children. This upcoming series aims to present the profound teachings of the Bible in an engaging and accessible way for our young ones. The captivating artwork you've seen throughout this video will also make its way into the series, bringing biblical stories to life for children. In a world where the forces of darkness are vying for the hearts of our children, this series serves as a beacon of light, guiding them towards the love and truth of Jesus Christ. But our mission doesn't stop here. We invite you to become an integral part of our divine purpose. 
Visit our website at awakeningrighteousness.com to discover a wealth of resources, from enlightening blog posts to Christian canvas art and a range of books that delve even deeper into the Bible's teachings. Each resource is designed to illuminate your path and help awaken the righteous version of yourself. By standing with us, your support breathes life into our ministry, enabling us to spread the teachings of the Bible and ignite faith in countless hearts. You hold the power to contribute to the saving of souls and to make a significant impact on earth. So join us in this holy mission of saving souls. Awaken the righteous version of yourself and stay blessed. May God be with you. Amen. Thank you.